So, Asteroid Day is upon us, and unlike humans, Kerbals go out collecting asteroids, not trying to defend against them. Well, here we go. Hello guys, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest, Series 2, Part 25, and Asteroid Day for Kerbals. Yeah, something a bit different. Um, well, humans use Asteroid Day because that was the day that the Tunguska in event in Siberia happened when an asteroid exploded above the surface of the Earth and caused a load of trees to fall down. Anyway, I've decided for this one, what we'll do is we'll get an asteroid and capture it. But I was looking for one which would impact Kerbin. Uh, however, I did not have any such luck. I ended up tracking a load of asteroids. And by the way, if you want to be Kerbal in this series, just write Kerbal in your comment below with perhaps the name of your Kerbal if you want a different name other than your username. Anyway, after going through all the asteroids, I found the one which cl passes closest to Kerbin. And it was, was it LF, was it LFB? LEB580. It's going to pass the closest to the Kerbin, so under 1 million kilometers. So yes, that will do. We'll collect that space rock and add it to our collection. Yeah, I decided I will not start kept on looking at the asteroids which kept on appearing. But anyway, here is the build. And I forgot to record while I was building. However, this is it. Four little engines with one big engine making a lovely thrust to weight ratio for us to move that asteroid about. Now, I know this build, the actual mover part, the, the payload above that we're going to get into orbit to capture the asteroid, now it does not have a huge amount of fuel or delta V, but it has enough to get the asteroid into orbit. And I do note on this build, but while I was building it, I didn't decide to bring the Kerbals back home safely. No, you can find that there's no parachutes or re-entry heating, shielding, stuffing things. So what we've decided to do, Capture the asteroid, put it in high curving orbit, ready for a study, dissection, or perhaps we'll chip bits of it, bring it back to the planet, and sell it in gift shops. The asteroid, which nearly almost did not impact Kerbin, but is now in orbit around Kerbin because we put it there. Yes, that will be the label. A bit long, but I think it's a catchy title, don't you? <laughs> Anyway, let's, at the moment you can see I've added the boosters in asparagus staging, added emergency panels just in case the large solar panels get knocked off, and make sure the staging is correct. It took me a little while to choose which engines from the KW Rocketry Pack to use. As you can see here, I'm deciding, are those the right engines? No, let's try the skipper. No, not enough to and on a thrust right ratio for us to weight ratio to get up into orbit. Hmm, these little measly things. No, they want to either. Ooh, the skipper, the best that uh, the original Kerbal Space Program used to offer for the advancement of technology. Um, yeah, they're the same engines. They seem to have enough thrust to weight ratio. Ooh, these KW Rocketry Titan rocket engines do have enough delta, uh, thrust to weight ratio. They do sacrifice a bit on the delta V. However, I think that's great. So let's call this asteroid the rock. Yes, the rock. Anyway, let's get launching. As you can see, the asteroid is going to come in and shoot past underneath Kerbin. So we have to be in the right place at the right time to intersect it. But what I do find best is to launch your rocket up into orbit first. Get it at the right inclination of the orbit of that asteroid. And I tell you what, that is quite hard to do. Because not only do you have to launch and point in the right direction, so you have to align the orbit of the asteroid over the Kerbal Space Center as you're launching, but what you also have to do is fight the rotation of Kerbin. Because as of this moment, we're traveling over 174 meters per second. Well, uh, you can see the surface speed is a bit high, but the surface of Kerbin is traveling 174 meters per second, which means our orbit, as even if we launch in the same direction as the asteroid's orbit, we still will be, you know, not in the correct orbit because we still have 174 meters per second 
from the rotation of a planet. Add it. So we have to minus that, so we have to do some alterations to our inclination, as you can see by here. And we're doing it quite well, actually. A little bit off, our apolapsis isn't going to be directly under the orbit of the asteroid, but you can do inclination burns. And the reason why you want to orbit in that direction, rather than just launch normally, then alter your inclination, is because it takes a lot more delta V to alter your inclination. That's the angle of your orbit around the planet, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> anyway, that out the way. As always, not only do I add your curbles, as you can see we have a few in the bottom right, I also read out your comments. So let's get to it. Fell Fox 1. And he says 1. I assume you mean first comment. Yes, awesome gold for you. Trish Cub. Trish Crab says Kerbal. Major XD. Yes, no problem. Hold on a second. In fact, I remember you were a Kerbal in episode 23 of series 2 Kerbal Quest. And you landed on a man in a rover. So, yes, sorry, you're already at it. I can't add you again. Anyway, you can see I've set up the maneuver node. I've used the maneuver node editor to add... Well, I will be using it, actually. I thought I got ahead of myself here. To add the days for our intersection, which I have, actually. 94 days for our burn. I suppose that is one of the hardest things of an asteroid intersect and I know you can go into the orbit around the sun and then go capture the asteroids around the orbit of the sun before they come to Kirby but I prefer to catch them as they are entering Kirby's sphere of influence. Well I suppose each to their own. And by the way rather than time warping when you're in orbit around Kirby which should take ages, warp time as you are in the map view, it saves a lot of time. In conjunction with Kerbal Alarm Clock, it makes things a lot easier. You can quickly switch to your vessel. Anyway, as we've done a quick hyper edit, well, not hyper edit, sorry, edit to the future after the burn and for the intersect, let's read a few more comments out. From Beastman2875, please make me a Kerbal. I'm a big fan and love your videos. No problem, you are on this mission. As you can see, you're on there and you're added as a scientist. We need someone to study that asteroid. And Okra Flockvens are. Ah, well, a lot of asteroid requests. Good thing I'm not going to ask for one. Oh, hey, Orb. I have the ultimate idea or challenge for you. Take an asteroid, put it around the planet. Wait, what planet, you ask? Well, my friend, I thought it was obvious. Oh, what's that? You thought it was Kirby? No, no, no. Elo, it's the only obvious place to take an any asteroid. In fact, just getting or get orbit around ELO is enough. You just need to put it a very close orbit to ELO. Well, good luck. See ya. Well, unfortunately, asteroid date is about deflecting asteroids not to hit the Earth. Well, it's more about detecting them because we've got no real way of detecting the asteroids. And we, if we're a bit late of detecting them, well, that's going to be a problem. So. Yes, we need to find them well in advance before so we can move and alter their course. Like we have done here, we have 94 days, or probably less than that, before it's not impacts curbing. So we have to alter it to stay in orbit. Elite Sack says, Is it me or does his voice sound different? I had a bit of cold last episode, so I'm not sure. Oh, wait a minute, is different good? Uh, by here, yeah. I realized that I can't use four attachments to hook onto the asteroid, so I decided I'll have to use one because you have the pivot mode on the asteroid, on the asteroid grabbing unit. So, what I have to do here is try to grab it. Come on, slowly. Come Ah, uh, and we, we just send the asteroid spinning. And I think this was a large asteroid. I didn't look at what size it was when we went for it. But yeah, I think it looks like a large asteroid, not a huge one. And we have got... Oh, we <laughs> just released it. Let's try again. Uh, come on. And we have connection. Now we can use the free pivot mode. 
<laughs> then try to align with the center mass of the asteroid. Otherwise, if we don't do that, it'll just go hurt and out of control as we're thrusting and just go spinning off into space. And probably then impact Kerbin at that point. Era from Pete McCreet. The sentence below is true. The sentence above is false. Hmm, I think they both cancel each other out. As mentioned by Squeaker Edition. Thank you for that. <laughs> Johan Samar. Hello. Hello. Veos. No, formerly known as Veos Human. I am curious. Do you know two languages or more? I know of two languages. I don't know how to speak two languages, even being Welsh. No, English is this sort of like prominent language in the south of Wales in the UK. So yeah, it's not as if we took, we tried to, they tried to teach us Welsh, but I was terrible at Welsh. Anyway, now we've captured the asteroid, let's go alter it. I decided we can't have it passing this close to Kerbin. So what we'll do is we'll add a maneuver node. Doing prograde doesn't increase the apoapsis very much. So we'll have to do a radial burn, which I hardly do in KSP, but look at that. Less delta V, I decided to use 100 meters per second, gets us a nice distance away from Kerbin. I, I can't remember what the distance was, 200 million? Or two, I can't remember, don't talk to me. <laughs> anyway, no, I, Veos, I don't know two languages, but it'd be cool. By the way, Veos does awesome videos of space planes, and because I don't do space planes, I advise you go to watch his. Anyway, Abo Slagi? Hi, Operator. Really awesome rover base. No problem. That was the last episode, by the way. Nice job. Keep up the great work. Abo. No problem. Thank you very much. Anyway, Left Waffle 01. The unit in one. 24 isn't kilonewtons per meter. Yeah, I read that out wrong at the time. Which would be read kn slash m, but kilonewton meters. The results from equation work equals force times distance. No, and he goes on to say, I'm sorry for any mistakes, please correct me if I'm wrong. No, I think you're right. I'm not sure about the formula, it's been a while since I use it, but it sounds right. And that, that is how you work out newtons per meter. But yeah, I read it out wrong. It's not kilonewtons per meter, it's kilonewtons meter. Anyway, Natural Predator, what should I comment? Comment about this spinning asteroid? Yes, it's out of control. However, it's in a stable orbit, so we'll leave it like that. I decide we have enough delta, we might be able to return to Curry. First off, let's get in a low orbit, otherwise we'll burn up ridiculously in the atmosphere here. Diver 0218, can you do the dual mission next time? I'm not sure, you know, there are, there's a lot we can do with this game, but perhaps we can, perhaps we can't. Uh, if it'll be dual mission, it'll be to one of the moons. Vulps Fox, so Orbiter, any idea when Kerbal War will start? I haven't worked on it since the initial idea, but I do want to do it. But first off, I will be doing some tutorials from the basics, from the beginning, for the newbies, up to the more advanced stuff, like building this awesome thing. Advanced base building. Building a base on an asteroid. Curbling to the skies and beyond in other dimensions. I have no idea where it's going with that. Dude, just found your channel. Love it. From John Bang. Bune? Bune? I'm not sure how to say your last name. Bang? Bune? Her. But yeah, thank you very much. The football gamer there says, I still haven't been used since episode 16. Well, you are used now. I think you're on this mission. Lewis Searcher. Hey, Orbiter. Another awesome vid. Keep up the good work. Also, I have a suggestion. You should build a ginormous SSTO or space plane and do a Kerbal Express from planet to planet. Make a series of it. One vid equals one flight. Anyways, keep up the awesome work. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, I'd have to work on the SSTO thing. Yeah, it's it's something that I'm not very good with, especially on re-entering the planets. So yeah, I'll I'll have to work on that first. But first off, I think I'll do my 
tutorial series. So these will be less, I suppose, Kerbal Space Quest. I'm getting less views on them, so I'm not sure if people are enjoying them that much. Or maybe just that not many people are seeing them because the YouTube algorithm changes. So we'll see. The Kerbal War, I still want to do. That's very definite. Anyway, from Hex. Can I... Can I be a Kerbal? You know me You know me as Hexen on Discord. I love your videos. And also, congrats on 7K. Thank you. Yes, if you not know, I'm on a Discord server. The server will be in the description below. So if you want to be added to that, just go ahead and click on it and add yourself. You do need to join Discord first, though. And last comment from Finn Gerber. Oh, so I'm a Kerbal now. <laughs> That's all he commented. All he did drew do a reply. Yes, no problem. You will get a lifetime of snacks. I'm not sure if I put on your mission yet. Anyway, I decided, even with the lack of parachutes and the lack of uh, heat shields, can we re-enter this into the apps here? Can the Kerbal survive? By the way, I did cheat. I used to use Hyper Edit to reduce the orbit because I ran out of fuel. In fact, I use the Venur engines, which uses liquid fuel and oxidizer. So if I didn't use them, I might have enough fuel. And with some epic music for our descendants into the hellfire that is Kerbin's atmosphere. This is what the asteroid would have looked like if we had caused it to come into contact with the atmosphere. But we decided not to, because we're thoughtful Kerbals. Anyway, who have we got in the cockpit? Oh yeah, Natural Predator. Beastman2875. Hexen, there you are, Hex. And, ooh, we got a couple off screen. Don't worry, we'll get to them. <laughs> we do have a, quite a bit of heating on this. But what I planned with this is to go in sort of a shallow angle re-entry, not a hot re-entry, so then we slow down a lot. What your idea is with uh, aero braking, as this is called, to reduce the orbit so you can come in and land, is you want to come in at a high altitude and reduce your speed slowly. Otherwise, you'll break up too quickly, the heat up too quickly, and you'll explode in an awesome series of explosions. Anyway, you have Beastman, Hexon, Matt Kerman, and we're going to try parachute them all. And who else have we got? We got Walk and Ravenheart. And then we got the Football Gamer. And we collided. Oh no. Will he survive? Matt Kerman, come on, you must survive. And he does. Awesome. And he's hot. Look at that. Matt Kerman is hot. Also, this is not Matt uh, <laughs> from Matt Lone Channel. No, it was a Kerbal. Someone asked to be added. And I thought, why not? You know, let's get to the base. And the base has survived. I did, didn't realise that as I was walking to it. I thought, I'd get it back, get to the base. By the way, the props mod, I've, I can't remember what it was called now. I'll, I'll list it in the description. I added a props mod and a parachute mod for the Kerbals. So they can all come. <laughs> so they can all recover safely. However, I found one odd thing. Even though we've got all the Kerbals out on EVA and they're all falling, if we fast forward time and one of them hits the ground before the other, he explodes. Anyway, if you want to be added as a Kerbal, write Kerbal in your, in your comment so then I can filter out and add you as a Kerbal. Uh, by the way, yes, one of the Kerbals died, so I decided to record a load of footage and I found out that I wasn't actually recording it because I ran a Kerbal into the grabber which had survived. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, crank that like button like an engineer. I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. And more videos will be coming soon. Hopefully. And yeah, right by here I should be saying, I'm Orbiter, trust me, I'm an engineer, and only one Kerbal died during this flight. <laughs> anyway guys, see you next episode.